lovely day today, isn't it? Sun's out. Got my shorts on. Feeling quite fresh today. Um, been this been to boxing. So yeah, this is a quick one. This about um, these kids in, Af in Sierra Leone, West Africa, with cataracts. Right. So um, I spoke to a doctor over there today about these kids getting their operations. Now this doctor has told me that these kids can have their operations. Right, and it would only there's 30 kids in this school. He said it will only take four weeks to get 30 kids their operations. So they can see again these kids who've got cataracts. They've never been able to see the mothers in their lives. Never been able to look the brothers or sisters in the face. Right? Now they have to live in a school in Sierra Leone because they can't live in the slums. So this school housed them. They live in the school, they get fed, they get watered. Um and I put it like that because that's what the school does. On the face of it, you'd think, that's an amazing thing for a charity to do, for a school to do. Well, it's a charity that runs a school. But then, on the face of it, you'd think that, but here's where the scam comes in. Because this charity who run the school, they get paid um, a million pound a year by the Sierra Leone government um, of donated public money, right, to run the school. And now, clearly, that's excessive as it is, but they say that this is to house the kids and um, to feed them and everything else and to clothe them, right? But here's where the scam is. These kids, their operations to cure, to cure them with cataracts costs £150 or £200. So my suspicious mind and logic would also suggest that if it only costs that, then why the fuck... Are you not using that million quid to get these kids their operations? Why are you just taking the money and keeping that in the, um, and not getting these people their operations? Right, the truth is because it's more beneficial to, um, to house these kids financially in terms of the CEO and everyone else who's involved in this scam. It's more financially beneficial to keep them there. So what they're doing is they're picking money over a child's life, over a child's happiness by... Um, keeping them there and not getting them the operations. So when I go to Africa, that's the first thing I'm gonna be doing, going to the school and getting them the operations. I've rang the school a number of times. Each time you say, it's not down to us, it's down to a different department on whether these kids get their operations. So I know what they're gonna do. They're gonna come up with excuses as to why they can't give these kids the operations. But what am I gonna do? I'm gonna show the people in the slums that they actually do hold the true power. This is gonna be the first example in Africa, in, in Sierra Leone, um, where I'm gonna show these people that they hold more power than they could ever dream of. Now, a government and a corrupt society has conditioned these people in the slums to believe that they're irrelevant, to believe that their life means nothing, that other people's lives, the rich and the middle class are more important than the people in the slums. So, their confidence has been knocked down for hundreds of years. Now, I'm gonna show these people in the slums that they hold the true power, they're the masses. They've got, they, they outnumber everyone else by 50 to one. So they hold the true power and they don't actually realize they do. But they will realize when we go to the school and have thousands of people from the slums where I install fresh water, who have all, who are all pledged loyalty to me completely for the rest of their lives. Every single day, the con the con well, most days, they're contacting people saying, when's Sam coming over? So they can have a welcome party because they've never forgot me. It's been 2018, I was jailed for two and a half years. But these people have never forgot me, they still ask about me. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell them that I installed water for you, so in return, we need to be going to this school and showing these fucking corrupt governments and corrupt charities that we're not gonna take their fucking, their corruption. The, the fact that they're refusing to get these kids their operations in it because they wanna keep the money. And these African people in the slums are gonna realize that they hold so much power because the minute thousands of Africans start protesting outside the school for justice, because that's what it is, it's not gonna be an illegal protest. It's illegal to protest over there, but it's not gonna be illegal in terms of morally, right? Because I've sat in a cell for years doing nothing, so I'll have no problem standing, sitting outside of school protesting for kids who've got cataracts. 
no problem whatsoever. And I will happily do jail for that. That's a fact. I'll sit in an African prison cell if I need to, just on principle. But I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Because, but in the meantime, all my social media is about is us getting us ready, getting us fo our following ready, so we can get maximum exposure for the people in the slums when we get over there. Because that's what it's about, and that's where you play your part. Because I got I got so much support on my social media. Obviously, you get the one percent of trolls, a very small one percent who hide behind little keyboards. But as I said, that's a very small percentage, one percent. But again, they all promote you. Because when my name comes out their mouth, whether it's bad or not, they still promote, don't they? So this is the thing with these trolls. We leave them to it. Um, obviously, we're going to still be hunting some down, but that isn't the subject on this. Um, but yeah, but as I said, everyone else that supports me, the 99%. So much respect for the lawyers. And as I said, if you ever see me out, come up and say hello, because... I've got all the time in the world for any one of you. And a lot of you do come up and say hello. And as, as I've said, I'll always say hello to you and have a chat. But this is what this is about. It's just about getting us ready for Africa so we can start exposing these charities. And the first up is this school. And the reason why I've done this video is because a lot of people have asked me about um, what's going on with Africa. The containers, they're going to be in about four to five weeks. Um, I'll give the locations of where they're going to be. Um, in the next couple of weeks and it's going to fill that with clothes and toys and um, I'll give it out live again like last time but um, as I said the first thing we're going to be doing is the kids with cataracts getting their operations and we're going to be exposing this fucking dirty school to robbing a million quid a year keeping it in exchange for kids having to suffer so yeah in a bit enjoy your day have a nice evening with your families and I'll speak to you later in a bit